A growing number of brides-to-be now accusing a Jacksonville DJ of taking their money to perform at their weddings, but disappearing without a trace. Many had their big days coming up in the next few months and say that the entertainer they paid in advance has closed down shop and pocketed thousands of dollars. News for Jack's IT investigator Vic Michelucci is tracing the trail of the DJ gone silent, Vic. Tark, those future brides and grooms say that they are hurt, they are confused, they are stressed out, and they're angry about this situation. Just recently, I spoke with a photographer who was part of that package deal, and she tells us she believes there are 57 couples who now might not have a DJ for their weddings, and she fears this performer took their money and ran. It's supposed to be the happiest day of someone's life. But these brides say their DJ is putting that in jeopardy. Nothing. It's been complete silence. Taylor Bresnahan says she hired Dakota Nash with Keep Up Productions to play her reception and paid him more than $1,300 in advance. And now he's out of business. Frustration, for sure, just because, you know, we spent all this money and we were we did it in advance so we didn't have to stress about it and she learned she was not alone and started a facebook page with dozens of couples left at the altar after he advertised a low price wedding special on social media among them medical workers police officers and military members the photographer had told me i would have never even known we had the intention of celebrating a day of love we had the intention of bringing our families together just to celebrate our happiness and our futures. We're in contact with more than a dozen brides from Jacksonville to Daytona to Orlando, Tampa, even Nashville, all claiming they paid Nash up front and he has since disappeared. Shutting down his website and posting this message on Facebook saying, due to financial constraints and the current economic conditions, he is officially closed and no longer able to operate. The I-Team also checked state records for Nash's company and found he dissolved it on May 25th, saying, quote, business is no longer viable economically. But what happened to the money he collected to the tune of thousands of dollars? How much money is your family out right now? We're out eight fifty five. We're out thirteen hundred. Um, well, we paid eight oh five total five hundred and five dollars. Please leave a message after the tone. He did not answer his phone for me, or the door at his Jacksonville apartment. Now, these brides hope he'll have to answer to police. They've filed fraud and theft reports with several agencies, telling us he violated his own contract. It clearly says if he cancels, he agrees to return any and all money except services already provided. And I'm sorry, I'm emotional. <laughs> but he could have made things better. You know, he could have moved dates. He could have still did these things and made someone's day better after the months of chaos. Essentially, he just took it and ran. And I'm hoping that, you know, with all of us speaking out and getting him his name out there and getting him out there that, you know, he's not going to try and run with our money and open a new business and try and do this to other people. And we welcome Nash's side to this story. We've been reaching out for several days now. Today, I even called the veterinary clinic where he works, left a message for him there. So far, we have not heard a thing. As far as these future brides and grooms, they're scrambling to find other entertainers, many of them filing complaints with the state, with Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody's office, some of them also contacting lawyers. We're live on the South Side. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. So, Vic, has Mr. Dakota Nash ever DJed weddings before? I mean, what do you know about his background? Yeah, that's the question. Is this person even an experienced DJ and MC? And what I found from talking to people that have worked with him, yes, he was very popular. He had been DJing weddings and special events for years. And if you go to WeddingWire.com, which is a big vendor review forum, he had more than 55 star reviews. So really perfect reviews until a couple of months ago when a lot of people are just left hanging, wondering what's next and where their money is. And it sounds like they're gonna continue to go after that money. Vic Michelucci, thank you for that story.